Hi, I am Raghvir. Today we are going to discuss about chilled ammonia process which is a post combustion process. In this technique, ammonium carbonate solution is treated with fuel gas to capture carbon dioxide at lower temperature. Okay, basically there's three stages for Austin's chilled ammonia process. We're in the first stage, the cooling and cleaning stage. So the gas comes in around 130 degrees Fahrenheit and we cool the flue gas down for the, in the first stage of the chilled ammonia process. How much CO2 are, is attempting to be captured on this spot? With this facility, it's designed to capture and inject 100,000 tons of CO2 per year. It's a 20 megawatt uh, size facility. Uh, we do plan on scaling up this facility to 235 megawatts. Uh, which were part of a U.S. Department of Energy funded project. Uh, we received the Clean Coal Power Initiative Round 3 funding for it. So that facility will be to capture and store around 1.5 million tons of CO2 per year. Let's describe how the Alstom chilled ammonia process works. In the first step, exhaust flue gas from the power plant is cooled and conditioned to condense the water vapor containing residual pollutants and to reduce the volume to be treated in subsequent steps. In the next step, the flue gas enters the CO2 absorber and is further cooled below ambient conditions by a refrigeration system. The carbon dioxide is removed from the flue gas through contact with an ammonia-based solvent. The CO2-free flue gas contains some ammonia and enters the water wash column, where most of the gaseous ammonia is removed from water and recycled back to the absorber. The remaining residual ammonia in the flue gas is treated in an acid wash column to further reduce ammonia slip prior to release to the atmosphere via a chimney. From the absorber, the CO2-rich solution is pumped to a regenerator where the solution is heated under pressure. Here, the absorption reactions are reversed to produce a pure CO2 product stream. The lean solution from the regenerator is recycled back to the absorption column and the pure CO2 product stream is further compressed to a higher pressure. After compression, the pure CO2 product stream is transported via a pipeline for permanent storage in geological formations such as deep saline aquifers. We've chosen a technology that can answer the, the two problems that we have to solve today. First of all, we have to build clean plants. So this technology should help us to capture the CO2 that the new plant that we are building uh, are emitting. But more importantly, we have to propose a technology to the market to solve the problem of the install base, of the existing plants. In the absorber, exothermic reactions take place. Ammonia carbonate absorbs CO2 in the flue gas, forms ammonium bicarbonate. In the regenerator, endothermic reactions take place. Absorption reactions reversed. CO2 is released at high pressure and high temperature. The main advantage of chilled ammonia process is the energy efficient way to capture carbon dioxide and the purity of the carbon dioxide is greater than 95% and this process is tolerant to oxygen and flue gas impurities. Finally, the globally and cheaply available region ammonia carbonate. So this is the overall process of chilled ammonia process.